Hi everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update this evening. I trust and hope that you guys are doing really fantastic and so we're gonna be taking a look at our systems out there. So from just looking at this map, we can see that there's quite a bit going on. So we'll be touching on everything that is happening. And before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, so first things first, we've got a brand new tropical depression. So we've had tropical depression 15 forming this morning and uh, it is expected to become Nigel. So this was previously known as Invest 97L. We'll go into more details in a moment, but let us go ahead and kickstart things looking at the Caribbean region. And here we can see that there isn't much happening. A couple of thunderstorms developing thanks to the daytime heating that is helping to offset the heat for some of us. Unfortunately, not enough because many persons have been dealing with this excruciating heat and the discomfort for some time now however good news might be on the horizon as we might see some more activity heading into the latter part of this month and heading into october but let's now go ahead and talk about lee there we can see it on satellite so it is losing its tropical cyclone characteristics but still a cat one hurricane it will continue to weaken as it approaches atlantic canada but there we can see those other bands already moving in so conditions will only continue to gradually deteriorate as we head into the rest of today and into tomorrow so uh, there's going to be those strong winds maybe some periods of heavy rainfall and uh, the storm surge as well which is that inundation of coastal areas due to the winds pushing the water on shore so that storm surge might uh, inundate immediate coastal areas and now we want to go ahead and talk about our new tropical depression here we can see it on satellite not the most impressive depression out there i think it was actually looking a lot better earlier this morning but it has become a bit disheveled since so let's see how it holds up but by tomorrow we should have tropical storm Nigel and, and I've actually expected this the NHC highlighted it yesterday and I've even highlighted it as well in my update my evening update that as soon as today we could have a tropical depression and that is exactly what we have right now tropical depression 15 well to the east of the eastern Caribbean and so going on to the cone forecast here we can see it sustaining winds of 35 miles per hour and accelerating up to the northwest at 13 miles per hour so it should gradually intensify as we head through the new week and uh, by the middle of the week it could be at its closest approach to Bermuda but take a look at just how much this cone widens here that indicates the uncertainty which is up ahead so if you're in Bermuda you want to keep watch but aside from Bermuda nowhere else is expected to be impacted by this system here but uh, regardless though even if it is well offshore it could still be generating those rough seas which would pose some sort of a danger in terms of marine activity so there is some uncertainty down the road but as we look at the track guidance we can see that these models are kind of tight and that indicates some pretty good agreement which is good they're not all over the place which makes it more difficult to pinpoint where the system is gonna head so we see this sort of agreement here and that curve away out uh, to the northeast that is expected so there is Bermuda and with this scenario it would be most desirable because then impacts would be very minimal for the island especially as it relates to those uh, to that heavy rainfall and those strong winds now moving on to this now a tropical wave will be exiting the African coast as we head into the early to mid part of the new week and then it should be moving on a westward track so once we have what will be Nigel making its way out we don't have all these storms out there because Lee is approaching the end of its lifetime same for Margo so that high pressure system will get that chance to reinforce itself and it rotates winds within that high pressure system rotates in a clockwise fashion so it is a blockade which means that these tropical storms depressions hurricanes they can't just move through it so they have to move around it and so what is expected is that high pressure reinforcing itself and thus a westward track of that next tropical wave that will be making its way off the African coast as we head into next week and I've actually been discussing this with uh, another YouTube creator, the owner of Weather Center Nazario, which is David. He does a phenomenal job at analyzing synoptic charts, breaking down the patterns. So you can go ahead and check out his videos as well. So it looks as though with that pattern, it would be both good and bad news for the Caribbean. Good news in the sense that we will have more of these tropical waves moving in. And with systems that aren't too strong, that would be some really fantastic news. We have been suffering from 
from the heat and we need that rainfall. So that would be very much appreciated for many of us if we should have something weak moving in. But uh, of course, if we're talking about a tropical storm or even a hurricane, that would spell bad news in the sense that it would do more harm than good. It would uh, result in those life-threatening impacts, the flooding, the mudslides, the landslides. So uh, that is a concern and we definitely have to watch out for that potential as we head into the latter part of the month. But as usual, guys, I will be keeping you posted. And there is some confidence on this happening because uh, if you saw one of my previous updates, I actually highlighted the fact that the Climate Prediction Center highlights the area for development right through September going to early October out in the main development region. So we definitely have to keep watch for this next tropical wave. It is not imminently going to develop. I mean, the chance is at 20% right now, but that should gradually increase once the system makes its way off and takes advantage of a conducive environment. So with that, we will see the chance gradually rising over the course of the coming days. And so that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. And I trust and hope you found it to be quite informative. But as usual, if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so. And as always, remember to be otherwise.